Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to talk about masturbating and how it affects your body and especially your mind. Now because of my YouTube channel and the hundreds of millions of views and millions of subscribers, in addition to my social media channel, I've had a lot of guys keep asking me about masturbation. And it's like daily, it doesn't seem to ever stop. And because of this, I've done a lot of videos about this topic and I'll give you the links to all of them at the end of this video. However, I figured that with honestly with making all these videos about masturbation, you know, that would be enough. But the questions that just keep coming and at times, I find them somewhat silly, such as um, how often can I masturbate? I don't want to do it incorrectly. Or what, you know, will it make me lose muscle? Or will it make me fat? Or will it shrink my penis if I do it daily? Or will it stop me from growing, you know, taller? Or how quickly can I have an orgasm without it affecting my health? Um, will I get cancer or some other health problems? Can I masturbate and still have sex? And on and on and on. And I think to myself, why is he asking me this? Or is he being serious? And then I stop and I think back to when I was younger, right? And the silly things we used to be told, you know, when we were growing up, such as, you know, masturbating will make you go blind or give you hairy palms or other stupid things that a young, impressionable boy may believe. And as you may know, most guys are not good at communicating. And when it comes to masturbating, this is something we never talk about when we were growing up. Thus, why so many people are confused and lost and with all these questions. And it was something, you know, it's something we all did growing up, but we never really spoke about it out loud because, again, it's a taboo topic. For example, in my own home, we never spoke about anything sexual. It was three boys, right? Three sons, and it was me and my two older brothers, and there was never any talk about women. It was kind of odd, but my dad, you know, he was like super old school and super, super strict. And I remember this one time, the entire family, you know, my mom, my dad, my brothers and I, were, were all watching something on TV, or maybe it was a rented movie or something. And it was like a Game of Thrones type of movie and some Renaissance girls, you know, she's taking her top off and she exposed her breast briefly. And within seconds, my dad says to me, son, it's time for bed. And mind you, it was like 8 p.m., right? And I was thinking, you know, you know, maybe this was I in my early teens. And, and since my brothers were obviously much older than me, 12 or 15 years older, my dad was talking directly to me, right? And I thought, what the hell, man? You know, I've seen plenty of tits in my time. But, well, you know, it was like Playboy and stuff, nothing real at that point. But that was that, you know, I got up and I went to my bedroom and that was something we never talked about ever. Thus, I got the point. No talk about sexual stuff ever and certainly not about masturbation. Again, it was a taboo topic. Now, another time I remember speaking to one of my best friends, Greg, about this topic, but it was much later in our life, like in our 20s. And he said, yeah, growing up, my mom told me to never masturbate or else I'd go to hell and that I'm a bad person. And so I never masturbated, masturbated growing up. And then I, I, I asked, I said, but how? You know, men produce hundreds of millions of sperm daily. It has to come out, especially with the crazy testosterone levels of a teenage boy. And Greg replied, I didn't know. I guess this is why I had wet dreams every single night. You know, it had to come out in the morning. I would get up early and wash my sheets or my underwear so my mom wouldn't find out. You know, he just didn't want his mom to think less of him. And this was all because he was ashamed or embarrassed or felt guilty and just didn't know any better. Now, unfortunately, decades later, the problem still seems to exist with all the confusion. Even with the internet, guys are still very confused about the topic of masturbating. However, I do think that the situation has maybe gone worse because of all the porn that's readily available online. To a super horny young guy, he can't help himself, right? The porn can be addictive. By the way, this isn't just men. Again, women are watching a ton of porn as well. And these days, it's a lot more hardcore and graphic compared to when I was young, when all we had was Playboy or maybe like a penthouse magazine. So porn, though, at a young age does change how the mind perceives sex himself and also women. It basically rewires things in the brain because the brain is still growing as a teenager. It's it's it can be addictive in fact due to the dopamine stimulation just like cocaine. 
So for a lot of guys, porn has become a bit of an addiction. It gets in the way of productivity during the day, closeness with other people, and of course, sexual connections and relationships, relationships again, as the years progress. Anyway, I'm going to end today's topic with some things I want you to think about if you're concerned or confused about masturbation. First of all, it's totally natural. So don't feel guilty or ashamed or think that there's something wrong with you. There is no specific right or wrong way or how much or how often, all right? Also, you're not going to go blind or get hairy palms or get cancer or not grow taller or have other physical problems. And also, you're not going to hell either and God isn't going to hate you or whatever, all right? He's got bigger things to deal with. However, you also cannot let masturbation control you. You can't let it and porn control your actions and get in the way of relationships or getting stuff done during the day. This is the biggest problem I see with masturbation, especially compounded with all the porn that's readily available. It's the addictive aspect of it. And it's not because you're physically horny or addictive, but something psychologically is happening. Now that's not natural or normal, or healthy. It's more of a mental addiction rather than a physical one, even though masturbation is a physical act, not a mental. Make sure you scroll down below to the description area and watch my other masturbation-related videos to help give you more clarity so you can feel more confident. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.